Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to change the front wheel bearings in your Vision Team Comp 35 SL front rim brake wheel. So let's go ahead, let's run through the steps. Right, so here we have the wheel. So the first thing you need to do is remove the end caps both sides. So if you haven't had yours apart before they can be slightly trickier to remove if you don't know they're going to come off you should be able to get hold of them and pull them out relatively easily if they've been apart before if not then what you need to do is with a pair of soft jaws in a vice or something to protect the end cap in the jaws of the vice is lay in there like that and just lightly clamp up on that end cap and then pull up on the wheel so just hold the wheel both sides and pull up on it like that whilst holding that in the voice then it should just release it enough so you can get the end cap off but those like I say they should pull off so far so you can get your hand in get your fingers in behind them slightly like that so they're just out enough and then with a bit of luck you should be able to get them out like that they're quite a long cap and they've got a o-ring on them which is what's getting stuck in there the o-ring on that on the end so they're both the same either side so once you've done one you can go ahead and get the other one off if you have to use a voice use a voice to get them off so once you remove those then you can see the bearings in there so to get at the bearing there's a a collar down in the center between the two bearings in there it's hard to see on the camera but what you've got to do is move that collar to one side enough that you can get a punch down in there to rest on the say if it was the bottom bearing it'd be resting on the inner race there so what you have to do is put your punch in and just move that collar to one side as you can see there it's now moved just there so it's off center enough so when you put the punch down through it'll actually rest on the bottom bearing so I'll go ahead let's get that out right so as you can see we've got a block of wood on a hard surface now if you've got a good substantial bench you can use that but I'm just showing you the block of wood on the on the floor like this just so you don't need any special tools to do the job with. Just rest your wheel, your hub on there and then because you've moved that collar to one side you can get your punch then and rest it down in there like that so it's hitting on the bearing and just give it a, give that a tap like that. And, you, and the collar will go all slack in the middle then once the bearing starts to come out so you can just move it to the other side and then give that a tap again and the bearing should come out just crisscross it so you're not hitting it out at an angle like that there's the bearing there and the spacer in between the two like that and there's one of the bearings so now you've got those out, put them to one side, and then you're just left with the one bearing in the opposite side. So again, to get that out, you can just turn your hub over like that. And then to remove that, you can either just use your punch again, or you can use a socket on it. So if you've got a, a deep drive socket, show you so if you've got a deep drive socket like that then if you put an extension on it like so then you can just put that down the center of the hub like that and rest it on the bearing in the bottom and just tap that like that and then there's the bearing so now you're left with an empty hub so all you do is clean up where the bearings are going to sit any old grease dirt on both sides clean up your spacer in the middle and get yourself a couple of new bearings what I'll do I'll put the size to the bearings in the description below in the video description 
so you can see if you want to purchase a couple what number they are. Right so when it comes to putting your new bearings in what you want to do first is just put some grease around where the bearing is going to sit in there on both sides just put a smear in there and again on the opposite side just spin that around just put a light coat in there like that and then put your wheel on the block of wood like that or your bench and then with one of your new bearings just put some grease around the outside of it like that and then on the side that you don't see inside the hub just put some grease over the face of it just to help keep the water out and then once you've done that what you want to do is just put the bearing in place like that and push it in as much as you can with your finger like that just to seat it in there it'll go in a little bit not a lot but enough to seat it in and then what you do is get yourself a 17 millimeter socket and then this is exactly the same size as the outside diameter of the bearing so this is exactly the same size so you're not hitting it anywhere where the seal is on the bearing because if you hit the seal then you'll damage the bearing before you put it in so if you put that over there like that then just tap it on in like that so it should go in relatively easily just making sure that you're hitting it in square, you're not hitting it in at an angle or anything like that. You've got to hit it in straight. Just tap it in like that. The note will change when you hit the bottom. So that's that one installed in there. Then you just turn your hub, your wheel over like that. And then with your spacer, just put some grease on the end of it like that just helps to stick it down in place in the bottom there and you've got to lower it in and get it in the middle standing up in the middle as best you can so it's when you put the, the bearing in on top there, this one is going to put in now, then the uh, spacer in between is in the right place. And then the same again with this one, just put some grease around it, like that. Put some grease on the side you don't see, inside the hub. Just put a light coat over there. And then again lower in to place like that then push push it in just to see it then again with your socket put that over there like that just give it a tap and make sure it's going in square It's just case hit it on in until it's all the way home so there's the bearing installed on this side and the opposite side so once you've installed them just make sure just give your wheel a spin like that make sure that it spins as it should it shouldn't spin lovely and free and then we're ready to go ahead and fit the end caps Right, so before you fit the end caps back in there, just clean them off and make sure you put some grease around the end of them like that and over the face of the bear in there. Just to help keep the moisture out and then you can push on your end cap like that. If you turn the wheel over, 
just do the same thing on the other side just put some over there like that and just put a coat over the end cap and pop that in place like that and that's the two bearings installed so hope you found the video helpful if you did remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content till next one ride safe and i'll see you then